All right, so proof of concept with the long shot shell seemed everything works properly. We just need to do the same things we did with that plus a few more in here. Um, so first we're gonna cut this, this lip right here and then we'll be on our way. Well, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's fucking dead. <laughs> it shouldn't be an issue. This is weird. Jenny, I'm going back just a little bit. It's like going in the... but it works. <laughs> I need I need to clean it up with a file because mm -hmm. it's hard to do that from underneath with a Dremel bit. And the next one, back about a quarter of an inch. Let's see, put these shells together and then mark how far back I want. And be smart about this. side um, yeah looks like it should be fine let's test it with the bolt sled to see if it indeed does go back far enough little back portion right here so the plunger tube can sit back a little further so that we can have everything go back far enough to feed full X. Um, yeah um, and I need 
do that to the other half of the shell. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I did. On this half of the shell, I cut it back about half an inch. Um, so I'll do that on this half as well, and then we'll see, because I need to put a piece of polycar back here, act as a spring rest, and as a bit of a spacer, so that everything can still seal properly. <laughs> Sorry, so I know I said I'd show you exactly what I did, but I've been <laughs> holding the shell pretty close to me this whole time. Um, so I cut about half an inch back on each of these supports and there was a little circle, like stain or dirt mark or something in there. So I just cut along that line and now I'm just cleaning up all the cuts I did with this sanding bit. And then I'm gonna test it.
acrylic is in place, just needs to be glued into the shell. So, due to the nature and the shape of the Exu shell, I had to cut these little notches in the side so it'd slide in properly. Um, I need to cut a notch out of the top for the plunger rod to go through. Which means... So I'm cutting out a little semicircle that I'll clean up once I cut it. it using the smaller bit that I've been using once I because I got the bulk of it off with the cutting disc. Jacob and I finished sanding and cutting the epoxy. We've secured it into the frame using epoxy putty and I mixed up just a bunch of a liquid epoxy and put it up behind on both halves. And now we've set it up so that it'll roll up onto the acrylic to reinforce everything that's going on. Um, that's gonna be it for tonight. Tomorrow, yeah. put all the internals in, test it, and probably cut down the pump. Great so that it can go back far enough in order to work. But it should be able to feed and fire full lengths tomorrow with just the bolt handle. So yeah, 
Look forward to that part. Bye. Bye-bye, Jacob. <laughs>